I'm an airline pilot, so I fly triple sevens, um, but I'm a retired Marine fighter pilot. Day two of our five day ski trip, you know, we have a little, my daughter and I have a little dust up on the, on the ski slope, and she keeps on going, and I'm, I take a, a header, you know, just into the snow, really hard. My daughter, you know, who's 11, she realized something's wrong. And they put me right in, a, right in, a, in an ambulance, and they, they brought me here to the uh, university hospital. That's been about, a, you know, five or six days over in the neuroacute care area, and then I was lucky enough to be able to come here to the uh, re rehabilitation hospital. The HydroWorks Evo is an amazing piece of, of equipment and technology. It's a very contained uh, unit where we're able to have an underwater treadmill system. It holds uh, over 250 gallons of water, but it's done very efficiently. It's eco-friendly, it fits nicely into a smaller space within our therapy gym. It's the first and only technology of its kind in the state of Utah for an inpatient rehab setting. A lot of patients that come through inpatient rehab, uh, a lot of them have neurologic conditions. Uh, that could be spinal cord injury, traumatic brain injury, or stroke. With those types of neurologic insults, uh, we see a lot of different deficits. We see what's known as hemiparesis, where one side of the body is not functioning like the other side. Uh, we see things that's known as tone, where the muscles are just involuntarily firing at a hyperstate. We're constantly working towards neuroplasticity. And what that is, is basically rewiring the brain and the central nervous system to uh, take over some of those other impairments that I was talking about. The best ways to do the, the neuroplasticity is by doing repetition, repetition, repetition. Um, and then we also want to challenge the patient. So they need to be challenged in order for neuroplasticity to work. Before we had the HydroWorks Evo, uh, we often rely on uh, a lot of staff, quite honestly, to help facilitate in ambulating some uh, an individual, a patient. So if somebody has that hemiparesis that we're speaking of, a lot of times we'll have to have two, maybe three individuals to help facilitate in the walking. And especially if we're wanting to create normal or as close to normal gait kinematics as possible. And so what a piece of equipment like this does for us is that it allows a safe environment for us to address all of those things. Every patient that I've had in there has loved it. So to hear them say, oh, it finally feels like I'm walking a little bit more normal, then that's what it's all about. It's almost like normal. I can stand here and balance myself and even turn a little bit as if I'm not injured. My left side is good, my right side is bad. And now that I've been here for a couple of weeks, I'm actually using my right side some more and I'm expected to make uh, a full recovery six months or a year down the road. They've been really good here about making sure that I'm capable of being on my own. I know that there's a light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, for when I get done with my rehab, we haven't given up hope. And I didn't have a whole lot of understanding of you know what physical therapists did. And I've been working with Alan and I've been working with you know, a whole bunch of people here who have uh, showed me otherwise, you know, that they are, they care and that they do a good job getting people back on their feet.